Obedience is better than sacrifice. We must trust and obey our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. pleasing? Are you pleasing your Lord and Savior versus everyone else around you? Because we know that obedience is better than sacrifice. It's important to have good relations with your brothers and sisters, most definitely. But it's just as important to have a steadfast, obedient relationship with your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And we know that when we walk in the fullness of obedience, at times we feel lonely, we're afraid, we're ostracized, often ridiculed. We feel like at times God has simply forgotten all about us. But God didn't promise us that when we travel the road of obedience, that it will be a cakewalk. No, when we travel the road of obedience, there will be moments where we're full of despair, where we're disappointed. We face frustration almost every day. But God declares that obedience is better than sacrifice. And we must trust and obey our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We all remember the story of Paul. Paul was passionate about his teaching. And we know that Paul... He was falsely arrested. They threw Paul in prison. He was separated from his family. He was misrepresented. Paul was physically beaten. He physically suffered and he faced imminent execution. But yet Paul was determined. Paul stated that there would never be a crisis so troubling that will cause him to disobey God that will cause him to stop trusting and believing in his Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Because Paul knew that obedience is better than sacrifice. And Paul knew that God would be with him. For the scripture declares in Isaiah 43 and 5, God says, I will be with you always. He says, I am with you always through all of your trials your many troubles, your difficulties. I can imagine why Paul was locked away in jail, being falsely arrested, falsely accused. I can only imagine all the troubling moments that fluttered his mind. I can only imagine the nights that he cried, cried out to God, Lord, help me. But yet Paul was determined. He was dedicated and committed to obedience, to trusting God fully, no matter what the situation looked like, no matter how hard it became. Paul said that there is nothing that can cause a child of God to worry. That's how much he trusted and believed and obeyed in his Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Paul believed that walking in obedience was one of the most important traits that anyone could have. Trusting in God, trusting in his promises and believing in every word that he's declared, every promise that he's made. And just as Paul, we must remain faithful and obedient to trust in Christ, even when it looks like God has left us alone and lonely. God declared that he will never leave us, nor would he forsake us. But we must walk fully and completely in obedience. Because the scripture declares, obedience is better than sacrifice. We must obey Christ. Obedience is better. Obeying Christ is better than giving. We must obey Christ. We must obey Christ. 
even when it looks like we can't trace God's plan, even when it seems like God has left us out here all alone, God declares that obedience is better than sacrifice. And we must trust and obey Christ completely. And my God, it's not easy walking fully in obedience. I'm a witness. It's not easy at all. Often, we feel divided from family and friends. There are damaged relationships when we walk in the fullness of obedience. At times, our, our purpose, God's plan, is delayed because of obedience. But we must Walk in the fullness of obedience. Who are you pleasing? Would you prefer to please others versus pleasing your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? God declares that we must walk in the fullness of obedience. Would you rather please your brother or your sister? Or would you rather please your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? God says walk in the fullness. Walk in the fullness. When you're obedient, you're hit with test after test, trial after trial. Ask me how I know. But we must continue to walk in the fullness, walk in the fullness of obedience because God is always there. He's right there with us, even through the tests and trials, even through the lonely moments, even through the heartache and pain even through the difficulty and the obstacles, God declares he's always with us and he will never leave us, nor shall he forsake us. Let your example be Paul. Paul suffered. He was imprisoned. They put him away in prison. He was falsely arrested for something he had not done. There was no charges against Paul, but yet Paul had to suffer. He had to suffer and remain obedient to Christ, to his promises, going through the test and the trial. But we know the scripture declares, count it all joy, count it all joy when faced with trials of many kinds, because the testing of our faith develops perseverance. Paul knew he was determined that he would walk fully in obedience, even if that meant being arrested, being thrown into prison, being separated from his family, being called everything but a child of God, crying, tears at night, being beaten, my God, day and night. But yet he was determined. He was determined that there was nothing that could separate him from the love of Jesus Christ. There was nothing that would cause him to disobey his Lord and Savior. There was nothing. There was nothing that can stop him from trusting in the promises that God has declared over his life. So Paul remained dedicated. He remained committed. He was determined to continue to trust in Christ and proceed in his purpose. And we have to be like Paul. He went against his colleagues. He went against his colleagues, family, friends, because he trusted and obeyed Christ. So who, will, who are you willing to please? So who are you willing to please? Your Lord and Savior or everyone else around you? Because we must obey Christ. Who are you pleasing? Are you pleasing your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? Are you willing to obey God completely? Are you willing to please those around you, your brothers and sisters. You have to make a choice. Obedience is better than sacrifice. 
we must obey and trust God completely. Walk in the fullness of your obedience. We must obey Christ. I want to encourage someone on today. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Walk in the fullness of obedience and watch God push you into your greater purpose. No matter what you're going through, no matter what you have to endure, God promised you that he would be with you. He would be with you always for he would never leave you nor shall he forsake you. I love you all so very much. I am Rochelle. This is Inspirational Cafe. Until next time, be blessed.